Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this chroma puddle transition right here inside of After Effects. It looks really, really smooth. So I'm going to show you how to create this right now. So in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips, which we're going to make the transition on. It is soft by Spooky, for so. But to start off, we're going to add an adjustment layer on top. So just right click on the blank space, go to where it says new and just create an adjustment layer right here. And I forgot to mention this effect is actually from my essential effects so if i open up my essential effects and transition presets right here and scroll down and show you this like puddle chroma right here puddle chroma and if we just select this keyframes and line it up you can see we have the transition already going on this is what we are recreating today right here so i'm gonna show you how to do this but if you have my pack you can do it on one click which is really really cool so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description of course but anyways in this adjustment the first effect we're gonna add is is sapphire sapphire warp puddle right here and firstly just bring up this range right here the radius so it like fills up your whole screen so it fills up so now you can see it it like fills up our screen that's exactly what we want now go where your cut is and just and from the cut go like three frame forward three or four frame forward so around like here maybe maybe around like here yeah something like there and in amplitude just set it to zero the amplitude and hit the stopwatch at the amplitude go over to the cut now the cut of the two clips right here and just set the amplitude to 0 0.100 right here nothing too crazy then you can go a little bit further so around like here so around like here i guess and just set it to back to zero so zero right there now you can select these keyframes easy ease those to make it a little smoother now if you play through you can see we have this ugly animation of the amount only but to spice it up we of course gonna add a frequency keyframe as well so firstly just make the frequency to 5 so 5 around like there and hit the stopwatch in the frequency keyframe around the around the first keyframe of your amplitude and put it like 2 frame forward uh, of your like amplitude keyframe so if that makes sense right here as you can see and then just go over to the end so around like the amplitude keyframe of the end and just set the frequency to around like to around like 0 0.6 maybe now you can see we have the simple frequency keyframe right here looks a bit clean now but to make it more cleaner you can easy ease those keyframes go over to your cut and just go over to the graph set it in the frequency keyframes make sure you are in speed graph and just make a graph like this so it like peaks at the transition so only like peaks at the transition so around like here right at the cut yeah maybe something like this now if you play through you can see that looks real real smooth after that you can actually check the frequency keyframes and just make it something like this so it is so amplitude comes at like the cut and looks a little smoother but that easily we can see we have a really smooth puddle animation going on now we can start adding all the chromas and stuff so for that firstly we're just gonna add an exposure and hit the stopwatch at the exposure and just make a simple flash right here so go over to the cut and just bring up the amount and as it goes just slow it down to zero back and you can just easy these keyframes so we have some flash in there and what the flash do it it will react with the chroma so the distort chroma and it will look real smooth as well you'll see what i mean in a bit so to add the chroma we're gonna use sapphire distort chroma right here and firstly just hit the stopwatch in the amount where the where you want to start it and set it to zero at first so just set the amount to zero go over to the cut and just set it to 0 0.800 maybe and go back where it's end so on Around like the ending keyframe around like here and just set it back to zero maybe not this long of a chroma to be honest maybe something like here and now you can select those keyframes of the amount and easy ease that as well go into the graph and make a graph like this so it comes in right where the transition comes in and now as you might already guessed we're gonna animate the blur lens as well so at the first just set the blur lens to around like 50 so 50 right here and hit the stopwatch at the blur lens and don't go over to the cut for now go over to where your animation ends and just bring up the blur lens to around like thousand so around like thirteen thousand right here so now after the blur lens if you play through you can see we have this crazy bulb chroma going on looks real hard you can even like distance the keyframe of the blur lens a little bit to get like different looks so something like this maybe looks real smooth not gonna lie now we are pretty much done but 
but to spice it up i like to add few more things in here so firstly i like to add something like a radial blur in here to make it a little more smoother and in type just set the spin to zoom and just hit the stopwatch in the amount and at the cut just made the amount to uh, like 30 and just like go few frame forward set it to zero go few frame forward again set it to zero so it pretty much makes like an illusion of motion blur but it is not actually motion blur it is just like a blur added on top of it then lastly you can just add like a sapphire flicker to spice it up and if you are crazy enough you can even like keyframe the sapphire flicker so it goes crazy on the cut so i like here and go back and just reset it so now if we play through we are done so as you can see we recreated the effect that my pack made so it is like pretty similar this is my pack and this is the effect that we created right now and one more thing is if you want down the essential effects the link will be in the description because it saves a lot of time bro because the recording is like 15 minutes it took like 15 minutes to make me this like this one transition right here but in my preset pack it is just like drag and drop and you are getting like 40 plus presets like these in there so it's like crazy amount of value and it will save a lot of time of yours as well but anyways i'll find effect looks something like this and that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider it in like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram because i'm active in there as well but i'm gonna see you on the next one peace